Tootie Raw. Slide over here and holla at you, God bless one. Tootie Raw responds <laughs> to Little Ivy Jr. and Fredo Bang. He responds quick, man. That gorilla not rocking with them and all that. I don't know what TBG. I, I'm playing around. I know what's going on, but I don't know how deep it was like that when Lil Tootie is just responding with quickness with the quickness game. Tootie Raw said what he had to say. He did what he had to do. Tootie Raw, what I noticed, he's different as far as what his dad was bringing up. Like, he can see the vision clearer than Boosie could ever see. And if y'all know what's going on, what I'm talking about, if you don't know, a week ago, Tootie Raw made a diss aimed towards Lil Ivy Jr., aimed towards the entire crew of TBG, Fredo Bang included. We ain't got to guess it made and say a legend. We, we know what it is, especially after Tootie just made his response. And his response was, I'm going to tell y'all what Tootie Raw said. Y'all hang on with me right quick. Now, your boy Tootie Raw, he came out with the quickness. He said, I see him. This is what he said to Fredo Bang and TBG. I see him dissing. I laugh at that ish. You know what I mean? And he kind of like his pa, bro. Like, he ain't going to entertain who mad at him, who ain't rocking with the movement. Tootie Raw looking at it as, look, bro, I rock with NBA Youngboy and them. I rock with BBG, but it's even deeper than that. Y'all done said slick This is towards my daddy. Y'all done came at his loyalty for Ivy. You know what I mean? So he, he on a retaliation tour. He calling out. Everybody that done said anything about the crew, anybody that said something about NBA young boy. And I mean, what I'm noticing is that I hope Tootie stays safe and protected because I do know King Von got killed. Let me knock on wood. And Tootie's affiliation publicly and openly with young boy and like that. I, you know what? I'm going to fall back from that and make another video on that. Let me stick to this because we know where that could get to, bro. Folks in them do look at who's picking sides, who rocking with who. Let's not even joke around. Niggas do be picking sides and niggas do got their favorites. And what folks of them is going to do is pay attention to you. So now Tootie is out here. He 38 hot rocking. Hey, y'all do me a favor right quick and hit that like button. Hit that notification bell and come rock out with the most winning this team out here. Y'all do me a favor. I got a guy from Broward County, Florida. He did a testimony with the devil right quick. I'm going to promote it right quick. Um, Y'all look for the links in the description box for it. And y'all salute to my man right quick. Yeah, do, do me a favor and rock with the homie, man. He telling his testimony and his true situations he been through, man. It's a crazy story, man. I ain't gonna even lie. Speaking of King Von, that's a crazy story this man got to say. So pay attention and stay fully focused. Now, Tootie Raw, you know, he's born and bred in the streets, whether y'all want to believe it or not. A lot of y'all gonna keep saying his daddy gave him this. He was born into that. That man been in the trenches, bro. Day one, A1, bro. Like, y'all can say what y'all want, but we know the story of Tootie Raw. Now, fast forward to this. Ivy Jr. ain't playing about his pops. He got a lot to say, too, for what happened to his dad. So he's relentlessly dropping hits after hits after hits to, to aim it towards Boosie and them. And he let hit, um the son and the dad know. He did a double diss towards a, a son and a father, bro. And he done tagged along Fredo Bang, and Fredo Bang done even mocked Tootie Raw and did a little joke at him. And, and Boosie done responded in a cryptic way towards Fredo and him, like, don't play with his son. Like, this is one of them things in the kitchen really cooking up the gold left, bro. Like, it, it already went left for some of the people who ain't here no more who dead and gone. Let me knock on wood for them. Let me have a sip right quick for them. It's already too late and went left. For a lot of folks that's dead and all, rest in peace to G Money, Boulevard, Quick, Dump, and a whole lot of people. Ivy, we can keep going deep. Ivy, daughter done called out Boosie and the family. Ivy's son, you know, Junior. And you know, Lit Yoshi is Ivy's nephew. Lit Yoshi, the stepper that he is, you know what I mean? And, and what they rap. It's, it, it's like, it, it, it gets you uncomfortable in a position like that because I rock with both sides, bro. But I know the collision course is going to happen soon, bro. This is this, this a NASCAR race, and we know some motherfuckers going to have to crash, bro. And it's going to happen. So we got to look at this situation like when Tootie make a statement like that, he, he ready. 
he know he got the, a certain crew. And I'm pretty sure Boosie done talked to this man allegedly about the get down and what the guys would do for them and what people put them in a position with. So, Tootie Raw, yeah, it, it's not an exception that people going to look at his age. They, some people might look at the daddy as far as, okay, Boosie ain't somebody to play with. And you're going to have other folks looking at Boosie like, all right, his son is his son. We're going to leave it be. But others are going to be looking at a situation like they don't care how old that man is, bro. If you're going to get in this shit, bro, you got to get prepared for a full physical contact sport. That's what the streets is. It's not a holy matrimony marriage, bro. The streets ain't married to nobody. I don't know why niggas keep saying, I'm married to the streets, dog, bro. The streets ain't loyal to nobody, gang. So I don't know why you keep saying you married to the streets. You got this going on, bro. The streets, it ain't never been cool to say, this and that about the streets. Now, Tootie Raw, I guess he pleasure for it. He know what he want. He what he gonna do with it? And I'm gonna just say more power to you. But I prefer, you know, dudes like him continue his father legacy through the music. Now his music is raw. Tootie Raw done stepped up his level, bro. Like he can talk that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He is his father's son for real. Besides the looking alike like twins. Bro, that man, bro, all them Louisiana savages, I'm saying that in a, a, a great complimentary light. I ain't hating on nobody. I'm saying that with compliments. Bro, Louisiana rappers, bro, always got me hypnotized with the lyrics, bro. They style, the accent, everything, because they like Florida niggas. So being a Florida dude, I, I done sat back and listened to these dudes do their music every day. And I'm like, God damn, these niggas is born gifted, bro. So... Tootie Raw ain't far, um, he ain't far, far from the apple, bro. He is his father, son. But at the same time, you are the sins of your father. Ain't no telling who got animosity towards Boosie right now. And he probably missed the untouchables in a certain way. So now you threw out your, your son out there now. And he done jump out the porch. Probably been jump out the porch being your son. But he out here and he talking brazen. Now, every dog and lion got to reach that adulthood or that manhood where they, they, they show off a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I done got taller. I done got older. Boys done got deeper. You know, I done got more knowledge to this. You know what I mean? I'm about to flex. And boys, Tootie Raw flexing on Fredo and them, bruh. He is flexing hard to the max. TBG, now, I ain't going to cap. Normally, they, they respond with the quickness to any thing that come their way, but, you know, let Yoshi and Fredo bang is bam right now. So maybe that put Tootie Raw in a position. I'm not saying he wishing prison and jail on nobody. I don't think nobody, no real one would wish that anyways, but I think he looks at an advantage to deflects a little bit more. Like, this is time and opportunity to show the world I'm Tootie Raw. I ain't just little boosie, son. So my nigga is coming out the trenches with, look, I'm going to build my brand starting right now. Like, before I seen him doing a song with that singer dude or whatever, and now... He's being more exhibit with his ish, bro. Like, we know he real cool with um, Baby Joe. So he gonna let it be known. He, every song he tells you about his affiliation. And now he's even throwing certain codes. I ain't gonna go deep into that because I ain't gonna do the police homework. But he out here, bro. So if a man is ready at a certain age, who am I to compromise what he got going on? I only can give y'all the news. Tootie is speaking that big boy talk. And I feel like I want a bigger man to speak to Tootie as well. Or maybe somebody older is telling Tootie he should go do all this X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, this is what you get out of these situations. This is what you see, bro. All ain't everything what it is, bro. This is what I'm basically breaking down to you. Now, Tootie Raw, he got to be prepared, bro. The other side is close to y'all that we already know that's your family. Fredo Bang got to be Tootie Raw's cousin if he's Boosie's cousin. That's the other aspect of it, like, when folks don't care about what family is family. And I feel like Tootie also taking advantage of the fact that Fredo is his cousin. Maybe, in a sense, they feel like ain't going to be no get back because certain rules been established through older heads in the family. Maybe grandma and them. Or um, rest in peace to any, if, if, if Boosie don't have a grandma no more. But somebody in the family who done been connected on both sides is going to be like, bro, fall back from this. But, you know, Tootie, he's young. What can you tell a young dude? Like, let's just be real. Most young dudes, you tell them information, it goes to this ear, to that ear, and it flex out of here. They ain't, they ain't retaining that message you're giving them. They looking at you as a nigga in the way, even if you are daddy. So, I ain't going to be one of these niggas that say an OG ain't really speaking to him. Maybe they have, but this the route Tootie want to take. He's like, bro, I'm, I'm about to have my jit. 
Because y'all do know Tootie got old girl pregnant, his girlfriend. So he's about to be a father out here. He's about to make Boosie a grandfather. So he really flexing. Like, he's he, he stepping in this shit 10 toes down. So I guess I got to say salute somebody who make a, a conscious decision. If this the route you want to take, more power to that king. And I hope he stay blessed out here. Look, y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And come rock out with the most winning this team out here. Man, I smoke hip-hop live. Salute, gang.